Okay, now for the fun part. The math. Alright. So we've got everything roughly mocked up. Roughly in the right spot. So, most of the videos I've seen of people that made their own forge, they use the bucket system. Well, these are clearly not buckets. Uh, these are... These are riveted together scrap, um, you know, scrap metals that are going to be my inner and outer. I'm actually going to leave this one in. So this is going to be the shiny inside of my forge until it completely destroys itself. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to measure everything <clears throat> um, to prepare my uh, pour. And before I pour, I'm actually going to line up the rivets and the rivets. And then uh, right next to it here... On this side is where I'm gonna put my air inlet toward the bottom so before I pour I'm actually gonna I'm gonna drill this hole out and tape it back in place as well as drill this hole out and then tape it back in place so that when I pour um, I'll have easy access to just undo the tape peel off the hole and take my um, hole saw and just go right through the soft plaster later tonight when I'm having a barbecue so right now I'm gonna take the measurements since this is all modified, there's no standard. Oh wow, I've got 12 inches across by 12 inches. So we'll just call that 12 inches. Uh, 12 inch uh, diameter. I've got 14, 14 inches on the height. This is really bad. You're, you're not going to see any kind of work like this and then the volume we're just going to be dealing with is, is what's in here so this is going to have to be factored in as well and this one is measuring eight inches by eight inches okay actually if i do a quick measurement myself um that is eight inches thumb to pinky so okay we're eight inches on that on the inner Okay, now it's time to do some math. I think it's going to be pretty easy to do the math. Honestly. Alright. So. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to I'm going to do the math and I'm going to come back and explain it. 